Hi guys, today I'm going to share a classical TTS paper, transfer learning from speaker verification to multi-speaker text-to-speech synthesis by people from Google AI. First of all, this paper is not a voice conversion. It's more about multiple speaker TTS. So what's, what are the difference? So in the multiple TTS, this paper, suppose you have a system of TTS, the input is a target speech audio. For, ex for example, I am join, the joins audio, and the, a text input, for example, I want to go home. And it's supposed to generate a, a audio recording which is I want to go home, but in John's voice. Uh, in the traditional or the voice conversion task, the system is supposed to take, also take the target speaker voice, I'm John, John's voice as input, but this time it does not take the text into the system. It takes a, another speaker's true voice. It's called a source speech recording as input. And uh, it's supposed to generate uh, the same output as the multiple speaker TTS. I want to go home in John's voice. And you can see that in the multiple speaker TTS, it's, it is going from text to speech, but in certain speaker's voice. But in the voice conversion, the target is to convert one speaker's voice into another speaker's voice. So the author, uh, they basically, they leverage the, the Tacotron in their synthesizer and the WebDuNet in their vocoder. And uh, they propose the uh, uh, speaker encoder trained with uh, 18,000 speaker data they collected in-house and uh, the results uh, I, I would say is uh, fairly good but the MOS score of uh, speech naturalness the proposal model especially for the unseen case it's roughly as good as the ground truth um, in terms of the VCTK test set, uh, even for the libre speech data set, which has noise, the result is still very good uh, compared in the unseen case. So when talking about the speak speaker similarity, you, you can see they proposed the method uh, for the scene case, uh, it's very good uh, compared to the VCTK. It's around uh, 4.2, uh, but uh, when the data set has noise, so you can see their results significantly getting worse uh, to 3.2. But uh, the good thing is for the unseen case, uh, all the two data sets, they can get uh, a similarity number uh, above three, which is good. They did a lot of analysis on this, including uh, speaker verification error rate, and uh, they an analyze the speaker embedding space. And they talk about uh, in order to train a good speaker encoder, uh, how many data you need. Uh, there, the conclusion is that you should have more clean speech you collected in house, and they sub it can get better similarity score. Uh, you can see that something you can get. Everything from the online database, you can only get a 2.5 similarity, but uh, Google guys can get 3.0 by using their, their own data. Okay, this is a short review, and if you're interested in this paper, please see our long review.